During World War II, several major aviation powers achieved varying degrees of success in the field of jet fighters. Although the Soviet Union had been developing related technologies before the war, it was generally lagging behind. In February 1944, the Soviet Defense Committee established a new research institute, primarily responsible for the development of jet aircraft. Soon after, an experimental aircraft with a hybrid power system appeared, which was the Su-5 fighter. Like other early jet aircraft designs, the Su-5 used a hybrid power system, combining a traditional piston engine with a jet engine. This design was partly due to the immaturity of jet engine technology and partly to verify certain technologies. The Su-5 was a fully metal low-wing aircraft, covered with aluminum skin 1-2 mm thick. It looked similar to conventional propeller fighters at the time, with slightly swept wings and a fully retractable tricycle landing gear, with the main gear retracting into the wings. It was equipped with a VK-107A liquid-cooled V-12 piston engine in the nose, driving a variable-pitch four-blade metal propeller. A jet engine was installed behind the cockpit, which did not have an air compression device and needed power from the front piston engine to drive the compressor. The jet engine's intake was located below the nose, and the intake duct passed through the lower part of the fuselage, with the compressor located roughly below the pilot's seat and the jet engine's exhaust nozzle at the rear of the aircraft. To protect the aircraft from high temperature damage from the jet engine, the rear of the intake duct was made of heat-resistant steel, and the combustion chamber and nozzle were made of a double-walled structure, with air circulating between the two walls for additional cooling. This not only enhanced the cooling capacity, but also prevented the fuselage from directly bearing high temperatures. The single-seat cockpit had bulletproof capability, with a 10mm thick armored protection skirt and a bulletproof glass canopy. The fighter was equipped with weapons, with a 23mm cannon installed in a recess in the engine cylinder, with 100 rounds of ammunition. Two 12.7mm machine guns were also installed above the engine, and the machine gun's cannon were controlled by a coordinator for coordinated firing, with the projectiles passing through the gap in the propeller. The Su-5 fighter conducted multiple flights in 1945, with factory testing continuing until the end of October that year, completing a total of 42 flights, including 11 with the jet engine activated. The jet engine could not provide continuous power and was more like an afterburner, generating a thrust of 2.9 chaos when running, which could increase the fighter's speed by approximately 100 kilometers per hour, with slight variations at different altitudes. In November 1946, the Soviet Union halted the development of several aircraft, including the Su-5 jet fighter. This decision was in line with the actual situation at the time, as the Soviet Union had obtained a lot of mature jet engine technology from external sources and had made a big leap forward in technology, no longer seeing the Su-5's hybrid power system as desirable. The Su-5 fighter had an empty weight of about 2950 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of about 3800 kilograms. It had a length of 8.51 meters, a height of 3.53 meters, and a wingspan of 10.56 meters. The design maximum flight speed was 810 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 7800 meters, reaching 793 kilometers per hour during testing. It had a maximum range of 600 kilometers and a maximum ceiling of 12,000 meters. 